Welcome to Trending Niches episode number nine. This week I've got a ton of niches for you that I can't wait to share with you both on Merch and on Redbubble, so let's get going. Niche number one this week is I Love, and these designs have creeped up into the top sellers and there's tons of them, so we've got 33 KBSR, 34, 56, 57, 60, I mean, I think you get the gist, and they're just very, very basic text designs. Now, I wouldn't recommend you just copy them, come up with a bit of your, your own layout or unique style, obviously you can use the heart in there, but don't copy them one-to-one -one with, the, with the same font, um, that would be copyright infringement. And there's a lot of funny ones here as well, like uh, I love hot moms, I love hot dads. Generally, it is family related, but if we scroll down a bit, we've also got I love motorboating, I love Gaga. Obviously, you could put in way more things than just family members. You could also put vehicles into there, for example. Um, it's generally a very scalable design. It's very simple, text-based, and surprisingly trending very, very well right now. And looking at the best seller within this niche, we've got I Love My Girlfriend, which has got a 33,000 BSR, and Pure ECS estimates about 100 sales over the last 24 hours. One thing I wanted to mention is, if we actually look at the bullets right here, this person has just done uh, a lot of keyword stuffing, meaning repeating the same phrase, the same keywords again and again. That's something I would not recommend. I think it is within the content policy or within the guidelines that you shouldn't do that. It might get you into trouble with merge. So scrolling down, we see some of the keywords again and the sales graph, which shows this trend over the past year, slowly trending down, down, down in BSR. I know the curve goes up, but it's just to, to symbolize the fact that it's getting more sales. And right now, this past week, just dropping really, really low into the 30,000s. So definitely trending niche. I don't know why it's trending so much, but uh, lots of people seem to like this style right now. Niche number two is skeleton. There's definitely a lot of skeleton designs along the top sellers at the moment. We've got two right here with a 20,000 BSR, which is crazy. We see a lot of hands making different symbols. So we've got the heart, the rock symbol, uh, piece one down here. This one's holding a guitar. Then we've got this design, which is quite funny sort of Halloween themed and um, you could apply that that sort of idea to lots of different things obviously that are round and um, it's also a proof or a show for the fact that Halloween designs are already doing extremely well and these sort of skeleton t-shirts generally will do really well during Halloween it's one of those topics of horror that's just part of Halloween in general and that people will want to wear so yeah definitely a good niche to get into right now while it's trending and while it's going to do really well in the next few months. We've also got some other ideas here like the cross niching with uh, dinosaurs, which is cool. Pride theme, we've got dabbing. Dabbing t-shirts always do really well. Skateboarding, so there's definitely tons of opportunity here. Someone drinking coffee. And it's not just like one design that you have to copy and try and compete with thousands of other people. You can be creative and unique and uh, yeah, try and come up with something new. And moving on from that, we've got Howdy. And for those of you who are not English or you don't know the US much, basically this is just a way to say hello. And it's uh, not everywhere, but in some certain states. And it's often associated with cowboys, which is why you see a lot of these cowboy hats within the designs. And it seems like uh, the text in pink, sort of aimed at women, does the best because the, like the first few best-selling designs are nearly all pink. We've got a leopard print in here as well, leopard pattern, and that's quite a good idea. But yeah, generally, cowboy themed, we've got a cat right here saying meowdy. That's a cool idea of how to niche down within this howdy trend. So uh, I'm sure there'll be some more meowdy designs as well besides that one. But yeah, you can spin the word if you have other ideas as well and uh, make it more unique and funny that way. But definitely a niche that's doing really well at the moment. Maybe a way to stand out here would be to actually select a pink t-shirt because I don't see anyone doing that, at least within the POD CS results. Select a pink t-shirt only, then create a design with black letters or white letters, just something that stands out in pink, and that way you've hit the theme. You're just using a pink shirt, which also really stands out in search results along all of the other ones, which are white and black and, and gray like these ones. Niche number four is a bit of a different one. I'd probably call this a bonus niche because this is looking ahead about a week from now. Um, and that is because it is International Whale Shark Day 
on August the 30th. So whilst a lot of these designs are not really doing amazing, they're more of like an evergreen selling every now and then t-shirt, they will probably see a drop in BSR very, very soon. So for that International Whale Shark Day, I'm pretty sure some people will want to, to wear one of these t-shirts if they like sharks or if they like the specific animal. That's why you can anticipate there's going to be some more sales in this niche. And I think sometimes if you've been chasing like the, the top trends on Amazon for a while and you're on the lower tiers on Amazon and you're not seeing that much success, it's worth just testing out something like this where not a lot of people will go after this because you know the majority of people go for the hot top trends. So jumping onto something like this might make it a little bit easier because there's not as much competition to get a few easy sales. And you know, it just takes like a, a couple of sales sometimes to make that jump from tier 10 to tier 25. So um, whilst these are probably not going to drop to like a 30K BSR, it's, it's still worth moving into it um, to get a few easy sales maybe, and to not do what everyone else is doing, but to skew away a bit from the, like the main train of people so yeah, this one, I definitely wouldn't copy Just A Girl Who Loves Whale Sharks. Unfortunately, that has just been trademarked or is being trademarked and there's been removals happening on, on Merch by Amazon. But yeah, coming up with some unique, funny animal phrases uh, to go along with their whale shark illustration is definitely the way to go. And here we're looking at one of the designs within this niche and the BSR graph is showing that this is currently dropping in BSR. We also get a current trend indicator right here, which is saying it's going up with a green arrow. And now to talk about a few red bubble trends. The first one that I've got for you is ducks doing cute things. This is the search term with the second biggest jump in popularity compared to the previous week on Redbubble right now. And it's seen an 8,000 point jump, which is very high. And it's only got 105 results, which is very low. So uh, definitely a good combination right there. And obviously there is a ton of duck designs out there already, but this is sort of a sub niche that people seem to be typing in and uh, not or hardly anyone has got this uh, this keyword this long tail keyword within their listings and that's why not much is showing up so if you want to create some cute duck designs or designs of ducks doing cute things this is definitely the time and, and to put it on redbubble i don't know if this trend translates onto other platforms as well that might be possible where if, if people are looking for it on redbubble they might also looking for it on T Public, and I'm guessing there's probably not many results there either. So yeah, definitely want to look into further. I hope you can get some sales in this one if you if you decide to enter it. And let's move on to the next trend. Next up, we've got less stress, more coffee. This is once again a very small niche, only 184 results. It's obviously a sub niche of coffee lovers, and um, this has seen a 2,914 point jump in popularity and it is in the 336th place in terms of most searched for search terms on Redbubble right now. Uh, that's really good. And it's also worth noting that coffee itself is actually the biggest trend on Redbubble right now. Uh, for some reason, it's jumped 8,800 points in popularity. Obviously, it's a massive niche, but that shows um, that you can have like a, a big trending overall topic, but a sub niche within that one that is really small, like this phrase right here. As you can see, a lot of the top results are stickers with a really, really nice text style. Now, I could make a tutorial about how to create these if you wanted me to, so definitely let me know in the comments. I think I actually have this font. It's a very nice groovy sort of retro font and uh, I'm pretty sure I know how to recreate that sort of style with the shadows in Illustrator. Scrolling down, I mean, there's, there's more sort of separate phrases that you can use here rather than just the one that we've typed in and just using that keyword within your listing will make you show up in these search results that are definitely very, very highly searched for at the moment. Niche number three I've got for you on Redbubble is another really small one, only 87 results. I, I can't believe how many small niches I've found this week that are trending and that aren't like a, a trademark infringement or something like that. So kids are overrated, adopt a dog is this niche and uh, we actually see a lot of cats within the top search results, but this phrase is definitely trending for dogs and the fact that there's not a lot of dog designs that actually have that phrase in them is uh, showing that there's opportunity here. I mean, there's one here and the text is very, very hard to read. 
So you can definitely make some improvements right here with these designs. And um, what you should also learn from this phrase, because I'm pretty sure I had this a few weeks back as the, the cat option. So kids are overrated, adopt a cat. You could use this phrase and put lots of different pets at the end. So rather than cat and dog, just type into Google list of pets or list of popular pets and then exchange that word at the end, uh, exchange the graphic if you want to. A lot of people are also just using uh, paw prints that could work too. So yeah, definitely a scalable design idea right here that seems to be doing well across different pet niches. And uh, oh, I didn't even talk about the popularity. So it's 625th place in terms of popularity rating and it is jumped 5,600 points, which is a large amount for such a tiny niche. So definitely one worth trying out and also worth trying scaling out on top of that. Moving on, we've got Eat Sleep VBS Repeat. This is the smallest niche I've ever shouted out, I think. It's got 25 search results and uh, it is seen a 4,257 point jump in popularity and it's got a 647 rank right now. So what does this mean? That's what I wondered when I saw it. What the hell is VBS? And one of these designs has a Bible right there as a graphic. So uh, when I Googled around a little bit, I found out that has to do with vacation Bible school. This is a trending phrase and uh, there's hardly any competition. So definitely one worth moving into. Maybe it's also generally worth looking at the VBS niche or Vacation Bible School because this is just one design style. Uh, maybe it's a bit of a smaller niche that has some potential besides just copying this design for the trend. And the last niche I've got for you on Redbubble is Teachers Make All Other Occupations Possible. This has seen a 2,849 point jump in popularity and it's got 300 results roughly. And it's quite a nice sort of inspirational um, phrase that makes you like, think twice about it, about what that really means. So uh, I think that makes it very likely for people to buy who are looking for a, a teacher design. It's a nice sub niche that you could try and enter for teaching in general, not just in Redbubble, but like I always say on other marketplaces as well. Lots of text designs. It's a lot of text to try and lay out. Definitely need to, to try and work on a nice layout right there. I quite like the font used in this design right here. It sort of has that uh, female teacher vibe. It's a little bit harder to read, but uh, because it's quite large and uh, obviously a good contrast of the white text against the black t-shirt that does make it easier we've also got an apple graphic right here within the sunset that's a neat way of laying it out that's a bit different so yeah definitely be creative there's lots of different ways to approach teaching designs and this phrase is definitely a neat sub niche to try and target i hope you enjoyed this episode of trending niches i hope you can get some sales with these ones and if you want to try and find some trending niches of your own, then I highly recommend checking out this video next, where I show you three free ways to find trends. Mm -hmm.